Hello, music scholars. My name is Drew Gatto, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Phillips Exeter Academy Music Library's web pages. We'll start by showing you how to go from the homepage for PEA, Phillips Exeter Academy, to the Academy Library website, and then on to the Music Library homepage. So from here, which is the homepage for Phillips Exeter Academy, www.exeter.edu, Simply click on the menu bar up here in the upper right hand part of the screen. From there, navigate down to the library tab under academics. Click on that. And here we're actually on the home page for the class of 1945 library, the Academy Library at PEA. And you'll notice if you scroll down a little bit on the right side of the page, there's a menu that includes a link to the music library. Just click on that. And from there, you're taken directly to what's called the Music Research Guide, um, also called the Lib Guide. And this serves as the web central for the Phillips Exeter Academy Music Library. This is the area where you can find access to all the resources, both print and on online in the Music Library, along with a very handy tool for searching the entire library catalog for the Academy Library. So there's lots that you can actually do here. We'll start by taking a quick tour of the home page here, and you'll notice that the LibGuide is actually a curated collection of resources that's organized by tabs that run across the top of the page. Each tab corresponds to a specific format for materials that you might be looking for. So for example, we have tabs dedicated to reference sources, books, periodicals, magazines, newspapers, journals, sound recordings, along with sheet music, websites um, that are both internal and external to the academy, also a guide to citing your sources when doing research, and then a few different what I call genre pages. These are tabs that are devoted to specific subgenres of music, including contemporary music, world music, jazz, and popular music. So let's just take a quick look at a few of these tabs to see how they're organized. Under the Reference Sources tab, you'll see that we've provided links and information on a number of different resources that are available both here in the Music Library, in the Music Building, and also across the street at the Academy Library. Whenever you see a call number like this, you can be assured that it's actually a print book that's available. And there's also links to the individual catalog records for all of these reference sources. We also provide links to online reference sources in music, um, including, again, some that are internal. We do have a subscription to Nexus Music Library, which is an outstanding streaming music, music service that contains not only recorded music, but also lots of reference information and a couple of other terrific tools here, including Oxford Music Online, which is essentially a huge encyclopedia of musical articles. Very helpful when you're doing your research. Let's jump over to the Sheet Music tab. The Music Library has about 7,000 volumes of printed sheet music, but we also have thousands and thousands of digital sheet music scores at our disposal. And this page gives you a little overview of both how the printed scores are arranged Again, we use call numbers based on the Library of Congress system, along with some information on some of the more popular genre and instrumental combinations that people tend to search for here in the library. I've provided some links to those specific sections of the collection, so you can peruse those if you'd like. Again, we also have links here to external websites that are digital sheet music libraries. Again, these are a combination of free and subscription-based sources. And collectively, they give you access to thousands and thousands more sheet music products um, that may or may not be available in print here in the music library. So well worth checking out. Let's take a look at one of the genre pages quickly. These are set up a little bit differently in the sense that I've taken different formats in which library materials tend to be packaged. So for example, periodicals, reference sources, books, sheet music, and I've condensed them all under a single genre heading, which in this case is jazz and popular music. So these are things in different formats that are available on the topic of jazz and popular music, which is uh, very heavily studied here at the Academy. You'll see some reference sources here on the left in print, followed by some links to sheet music collections for jazz and pop music. Um, also some external websites here on the bottom, and also some links to some popular jazz and um, pop mu music periodicals. And the same format and layout applies to the other genre pages here, ones for contemporary music and world music. 
Now going back to the home page, you'll notice a handy dandy little box here which says WMS Catalog Search. This actually enables you to begin searching our library catalog by keyword, um, both for music materials and anything else you might be looking for in the library collection. And I'll get into the mechanics of how to search that in a separate video. But before I go, I'd like to point out how you might contact me with questions. Um, you'll see here on the right hand side of the page, there's an email box. You can click on that um, to send me a direct email or you can call me at the campus extension here. I hope that this has been helpful, but please feel free to reach out if you have any other questions. Thanks so much and bye for now.